This platform will change the way that you create shorts. It's called Minvo, and we're going to take a peek inside in three, two, one. Let's go. So the whole premise is to take the most engaging clips from your long-form YouTube videos, podcasts, you name it, and extract those specific clips to share on social media. And Minvo's AI does this for you as soon as you upload or import your long-form video. With your video uploaded, you're going to hover over it and click View Moments. And this is going to give you all of the key shorts that Minvo found from your video itself. Now you can preview all of your clips from here, and it'll even give you a name for that clip as well. Once you find a clip that you like, you can click Edit, and now we can refine this a little bit more. Minvo takes the liberty of adding in its own edits and suggestions throughout the video, but once you're in this editor, you have complete control over the video. On the right-hand side, this is where you're going to be able to do things like edit your titles, your captions, add logos to your videos, that kind of thing. And on the left-hand side of the screen, this is your transcript editor. And this is really cool for cutting parts out of the video that you don't want to keep and making some additional edits as well. So if you want to remove a section of the video, you can just highlight that section, click Cut, and I can see where everything kind of got grayed out right here. That is now completely cut from this video. Gone are the days where you needed an overcomplicated, intense video editing platform and a degree to edit your videos. Now, if you can edit a text document, you can edit a video. But for those of you who prefer the traditional timeline editing, you can slide down to the bottom of the screen here, and this acts as your more traditional timeline editor. This does allow you to get more precise with your clips, so you can actually click and drag the start and stop points of your clips, and now will be adjusted and reflected in the timeline here and in the transcript up above. The timeline is also really useful and handy if you want to drag around different on-screen elements, like if you have an emoji on the screen, you can easily drag this around. Maybe you can want to shorten up that duration of that emoji when it shows up on screen. And in my opinion, the timeline just helps you get a lot more specific and precise with where those elements show up on screen. I personally prefer to use a combination of both the transcript and the timeline, depending on what I'm doing in the video. And what's awesome is that you can use whatever's easiest or makes the most sense for you. Now, I mentioned things like emojis and media on the screen. And if you want to add those into your video, it's extremely simple to do. And you can do that from either the transcript or the timeline as well. So if we come down to the timeline and we pick, maybe we want to add some B-roll into this section of the video. We can right click and click insert media. And we also have insert emoji, insert text, and insert sound as an option as well. So we're going to click insert media. And here we're just going to type what kind of media we want to look for. So we're going to just type in robot. Maybe we want a video. Let's do an image. So we got a bunch of different images that we can actually insert into this as B-roll. I like this little R2-D2. So we're just going to drop that in. And now we can see that that is now a part of our video. We can come in. We can resize this. We can move it around. Maybe we want to center it on the screen. We want to make it full height. Boom. Look at that. And likewise, we see it down here in the timeline. We also have it right up here highlighting what words that B-roll clip actually shows up on. Maybe we want to extend that out a little bit. We want to take it all the way to the end of refresh. So we're going to click and drag that and let go. And now that clip is extended. The clip is also extended here. Likewise, we can move this clip entirely by clicking and dragging. And you can see it is now reflected up in the transcript as well. Now this can all be done manually like I was just showing you, but Minvo uses AI, so Minvo can actually do a lot of this for us automatically as well. So let's say we want to add some emojis on the screen depending on what's being said. Rather than going through and manually adding any emojis to every single section in here, we're just going to click on this button that says Magic Edit. Now we have a ton of different options. We have Magic Frame, Magic Cut, Magic Emojis, Magic Media, and Magic Emphasis. So let's click on the Magic Emojis button. Now we get to choose where we want those emojis. We're going to say just above the captions and we're going to click activate magic emojis. All right. Now we can see both by looking at the transcript up here and at the timeline, there are all these different emojis that got added into our clip. And as we scroll through the timeline, we can see we got a little floppy disk emoji. If anyone remembers what a floppy disk is these days, I feel like no one remembers those anymore. We'll keep scrolling we got an article, so we got a little newspaper that popped up as an emoji. We have database, the word database popped up, so we got a, a CD. And all these emojis are automatically added in for us using AI. Then what I really enjoy about Minvo is that after your edits are all done, you can actually publish your video directly to social media. So I don't have to go download and then add this video to my phone and then go publish it on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and all the places. With my social media channel already connected, I can come up to export and I can hit post to social. 
And this allows me to choose the, the platforms that I want to publish to. Minvo's AI will actually write captions for me. If I just click this caption button, the captions are automatically generated. And just like that, I'm ready to schedule and publish to the social media platforms. Now, this was obviously just a high overview of the Minvo platform. But if you want to learn more about editing using Minvo and more video editing tips and tricks, be sure to check out the other content on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe because we have new content coming out every week to help you crush it on social media with your video.